I remember uh, metal detectors at school. I remember like talking to a kid. Uh, I had Mr. Um, what's a tall teacher from when you Mr. Souls, I think his name was. Yeah. He had the double dual class. So a lot of people took his class that were behind, which were a lot of kids that were troubled kids, which I was in that class. <laughs> I just call myself out. And I had that class with a kid that was uh, 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 arguing about how he brought a knife to school. I'll never forget this kid. He, um, and I'm a jokester, which is why we we're talking about this earlier in jail. <laughs> yeah. So I'm in this class because I need extra credit to pass the class. And he's in the class because he got suspended an entire semester for bringing a knife to school. And so on the first day of this class, we're all introducing ourselves and kind of trying to get to know each other. A few people that we know, uh, which I won't put them out there, were in the class. And this one kid who neither one of us, I don't know him, so I'm assuming you don't know either, gangster kid. He ends up saying, like, I don't want to fucking be here and like he was kind of negative yeah. and uh he ended up telling he stood up for this is his introduction he's supposed to go hi my name's kevin or whatever his name was <laughs> and i'm here because i want to be a better student yeah. and he goes man fuck this class like i shouldn't be here like i don't get what i did wrong like just because i brought a knife to school like everyone wants to act crazy and joking because that's what i do i was like yeah i mean like what the fuck is the world coming to when you can no longer bring your knife to school and like everyone laughed, <laughs> including the girl that was sitting next to him, which I think he liked. And he got so mad at me. He's like, what'd you say, bro? And you know me back in high school, I was in too deep and I was a skinny kid. I'm not saying, yeah, and plus yeah. you talk about knives. I definitely should not have responded, but I stood up and I said it again. I'm like, bro, like you're acting stupid. You're like, you don't make no sense. You for sure can't bring a knife to school. Cool. You're probably the reason we now have to walk through metal detectors. <laughs> and he goes to like, come at me. In front of you. And some other kid who I'd never met in my life, also a gangster kid, gets up from his desk. And I'm like, oh, shit, this is his boy. He grabs that guy and throws him against the wall, like like forearm to neck. And he was like, hey, man, like, I know who you are. I've seen you around town. Like, I, you're, I'm not about this. You're not about to do anything. You need to get the fuck out. This guy did nothing to you, man. He's right. If you don't want to be in this class or school, then you need to get, get out. out. And I was just like. Thank, Thank God. God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And everyone else was yeah. like, oh shit. And even and the teacher was just standing there and, uh, and thank God the teacher didn't jump in yeah, because I sure. think the kid would have fought the teacher, for but sure. this other kid who was yeah, also like, yeah, for like, whatever I reason, it. I don't know their dynamic. I don't even know if it was the same gang or not, no. but he respected them. He literally grabbed his stuff and left. I never saw that guy ever again. Yeah, for sure. And so it's wild. But I, and to that day, I'll see that guy around town and he'll always like, give me a fist bump. We don't even, I don't know him. I couldn't even tell you his name. Yeah. I just see him. I'm like, oh, I got you. And it's like weird how people do that. But I remember, long story short, like that was a thing. And he, I remember like joking too much about it, but there is an uptick in violence, man. And we see it a lot. And so I get a little nervous.